In its simplest terms, a lever is just a rigid body that rotates around a fixed point. In the human body, we have three classes of levers, and they're named based on the arrangement of their different components. These components include a rigid body, which is basically just the bone that's being moved, a fulcrum, which is the fixed point the bone is rotating around. This is usually, but not always, a joint. So just be careful not to assume it's a joint, or that's when they'll trick you and you'll lose points. The effort is where your muscle attaches to the bone being moved. It's your muscle, it's your effort, it's you trying to move the bone against the resistance. The resistance can be anything that you're trying to move. It can be your whole body weight. It could be the weight of a limb. It could be a dumbbell that you're trying to move or a box you're trying to pick up. It's anything you're trying to move with this lever system. Now to remember the location and the classifications of these levers, we use the mnemonic FRE. These letters tell you which component is located in the middle of each lever. The F, since it's in the first position, refers to class one levers and tells us that the fulcrum is located in the middle. With the fulcrum in the middle, we know that the other components must go to the side, so we'll put the resistance here and the effort here. An example of a class one lever is the triceps brachii muscle interacting with the elbow joint. So as you can see, the triceps inserts at the olecranon process, which is very slightly behind the elbow joint, which is acting as a fulcrum. The forearm, of course, would then act as resistance and is what you're trying to move in this lever. The R in FRE, since it's in the second position, refers to second class levers and tells us that the resistance is in the middle with the other components on the side. The classic second class lever in the body is seen during a heel raise. The effort is the gastric soleus muscle pulling at the calcaneus, the resistance is our body weight, and the fulcrum is the ball of our foot. An important thing to remember about second class levers is that they have a natural mechanical advantage, which partially explains why we can perform a single legged heel raise with a relatively small muscle. The E in FRE is in the third position, referring to third class levers, and this tells us the effort is in the middle of this lever. The important thing to remember here is that most levers of the body are class three levers, and they have a mechanical disadvantage, which means most of our muscles have to work extra hard to lift against resistance. An example of a class three lever in the human body would be the biceps brachii interacting with the forearm. The fulcrum here would be the elbow joint, the biceps brachii inserting at the radius would be the effort, and then the weight in the hand would be the resistance. All right, that covers the levers of the body. I hope it helped you out. If you need some good luck vibes for your next test, just drop me a comment below and I'll always hit you back. As always, thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.